150 years ago today, college football was born. Some folks say it more looked like a cross between soccer, rugby, and wrestling. November 6th, 1869, Rutgers and Princeton faced off in the first collegiate football game. 50 players, 100 spectators, rugby-style rules. Rutgers celebrated the anniversary today by ringing the bells at Old Queens on the College Avenue campus. The Glee Club performed. And then a drum line led the procession to the grounds of the Old College Avenue gym where the game was played. After the Rutgers marching band sounded off, a plaque was unveiled to commemorate the birthplace of college football. Everybody's excited, there's energy. Um, again, if you're the birthplace, right, that we're the only, the only school that can claim that. Do you appreciate the legacy of Rutgers football? I appreciate everything about Rutgers football. Just the idea of having the first college football game being played here, where I graduated from, it's very special, very special to me. Old Queens was alive, new memories were created, future dreams were formed. And Rutgers won that game 6-4 over Princeton. 6-4, huh? Yes. Okay. Thanks, Bruce. Nightly news is straight ahead. We'll see you back here tonight at 11. Have a good night.